The pick is in. And the Chicago Blackhawks have made a selection in the 2024 NHL Draft. I'm Gil Martin, and we are joined by Jack Bushman of Locked On Blackhawks to break down the Chicago Blackhawks selecting Artem Levshinov uh, with the number two pick presented by Indeed. There is no I in team, but there is one in Indeed, and that's the hiring platform you need to build yours to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com. Go to Indeed.com slash Locked On. So, Jack, were you surprised by this selection of Artem Levshinov by the Blackhawks at two? You know, considering the recent rumblings, Gil, I couldn't say I was surprised. I mean, even according to, uh, excuse me, FanDuel's live odds uh, going into today, Levshinov was minus 500. There are multiple reports that the Blackhawks had been leaning in that direction. And as far as uh, the two-horse race that we kind of figured it was down to with Levshinov and Demidov, they just got a lot more looks at Levshinov being in America, playing in college hockey this past year. And they really do need to add right-handed uh, defensemen in their prospect pool, probably the biggest need that they ha- they need to address in the organization right now. So they got their big right-handed defenseman. I would say the the only surprise uh, would be that they they went away from the potential upside one-two punch of Connor Bedard and Ivan Demidov. Uh, I know a lot of Blackhawks fans were hoping they were going in that direction. I was kind of one of them just thinking it, it could be the next potential Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin combination of the future up front for the Blackhawks. I think that's the only surprise or disappointment from this pick. It has nothing to do with Artem Levshinov as the player. Uh, I'm very excited to be adding him to an already strong defensive prospect pool that the Blackhawks have. That was the only surprise, I would say. What is the best part of Levshinov's game? What made him stand out as the number two pick? Yeah, I think he deserved to be the top defenseman taken off the board in this year's draft, quite honestly, because he's so well-rounded. And that was, I mean, maybe one of the arguments that you could have made for Demidov is that, well, Levshinov doesn't have that one specific skill set that is necessarily elite, but he is so well-rounded and already can play a man's game at six foot two, well over 200 pounds, strong in the dirty area, strong in front of his net, and he has offensive tendencies. I would say he likes to play more of an offensive style, but I think he he's a very safe defender. That's what makes him a very reliable pick here, and I think that's what makes him a top four defender. He can play in transition. He's a good skater for his size and nearly put up a point per game as a defenseman, again, as a freshman for Michigan State this past year. So very well-rounded in his game, but again, the question is, how high is the upside? I would say he has a remarkably high floor. That's what makes him safe, and that's what uh, I thought would make him the first defenseman off the board. The question is, how high is the upside going to be? And how far away, how far out do you think he is from joining the Blackhawks? Yeah, outside of Macklin Celebrini, I would say Artem Levshinov is maybe the only other guy who could potentially make the leap to the NHL this upcoming season. There hasn't been an official decision made. I'm sure the Blackhawks and Levshinov will have a conversation about that and discuss what he wants to do and what the next step for him is. I did hear a report uh, from Scott Powers of The Athletic saying that he might have not necessarily loved the academic side of playing in (laughs) college hockey, so he might want to take that leap, but that doesn't mean he has to play in the NHL as a prospect that's not coming from Canada in the CHL. He can go down to Rockford next year as well, and that will still be beneficial for his development. So we'll see. It's kind of 50-50 right now, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he makes the leap to pro hockey. All right. We'll keep an eye on that, Jack. Thank you very much. For more on the Blackhawks, subscribe to Locked on Blackhawks on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. For more now on Artem Levshinov, Let's get an inside look on his path to the NHL. Artem Levshinov could be the first defenseman off the board at the 2024 NHL draft, but is he worth the hype? I'm Hattie Kalakesh from Locked On NHL Prospects, ready to give you the breakdown. Levshinov's a six foot two, 210 pound right shot defenseman who's been playing for Michigan State in the NCAA. He scored nine goals and 26 assists in 38 games in, as a freshman this past season, and he was a key part of why his team was able to make their way to the conference finals. He's big, he's incredibly mobile for his size, and he learned how to use his long reach a lot better as the season went on. He cleaned up a lot of the 
the decision-making concerns we had for him at the start of the season, on top of adding layers to his puck skills. He reminds me so much of Noah Dobson now, especially with his end-of-season tape. If he can continue to put in the unparalleled amount of hard work he's been putting in this season for Michigan State, Levshinov could end up being the best defenseman from this class. He has all the tools to be a modern two-way defenseman. He just needs to figure out how to use them. So for more on Levshinov and all things NHL Draft, follow and subscribe to Locked On NHL Prospects on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. All right. For continuing coverage of the 2024 NHL Draft, subscribe to Locked On NHL on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. It's part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.